Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here. In this week's quick play, we'll start off in the beginning levels of Level Head. Uh, new level creation tool and playing game from Butterscotch Studios. And if you never heard of the B Scotch folks before, uh, definitely check out some of their games. They are very good at their craft and they don't short change the mobile department by any stretch. Uh, level Head's actually on a bunch of devices, including Apple, Android, uh, it's on Steam, it's on Switch, and it's on Xbox, so you can pretty much play it anywhere. This is a premium game, but Level Head is definitely worth its price, uh, and you'll get a lot of value out of it if you are into either playing people's various levels or creating it yourself. So we'll start by choosing our account name, and as much as I would love to be the all mushy mark top, uh, we'll stick with what I know, and that's my usual alias. Alright, that looks good. Yes, we want to confirm that name! Here's to the code of conduct. Ooh, avatars too. So let's select something that is. Hmm. He seemed kind of cute. So which do I like? This life. Visible confusion. It's not allowed. It looks like you can get others on the way. Let's stick with not amused. So many to choose from, what shall I do? Alright, there, there we go. Headphones and a coffee at GR18 after my own heart. Welcome, new employee, to the Bureau of Shipping. The Bureau of Shipping is the galaxy's premier package delivery corporation. For hundreds of years, our customers have trusted us to deliver their goods real good. Sorry, how good? And now you get to be part of that delivery magic. Our newest innovation is the derp, derp, or dispatch via intergalactic railgun power. We simply load the package into the derp and fire it straight into the customer's doorstep at the speed of light. But still not the faster only than problem Amazon. Is that delivery is so high impact that it may destroy the customer's home and family. Now that's not good for business. To make use of the derp and protect our bottom line, we created GR18, the most advanced delivery robot ever. Now, we derp both the package and GR-18 a safe distance from the customer's home. GR-18 then locates the package and finishes the delivery to the customer's door. Unfortunately, fresh out of the factory, a GR-18 is like a dumb robot baby. Or like it a regular baby. can't deliver anything until it's properly trained. This is where you come in. As a new employee to the level head division, you are responsible for training your GR-18. Must Teach I? Teach to successfully deliver packages on time, every time no matter the circumstance. Uh-oh. Now, if you'll reach under your seat, you'll find a brand new GR-18. Pull started to begin the boot-up sequence. I think my GR-18 is broken. Come on. Oh, there it goes. GR-18 bonds for life to its owner when turned on. Look into its eyes. I don't know if I'm ready for this level of commitment. Oh my god. Excellent work. With the bonding process finished, your job is now to complete every level in the Bureau of Shipping's training program. Build and share your own levels, and rise to the top ranks of the level head division. Now get out there, and do good for our goods. Your goods deliver real good! Alright, well now that my ears have started to bleed, uh, let's get into a level here and try some things out. Uh, I am playing this on the controller, and it does have full controller support, so don't have to be too worried if you're not uh, feeling comfortable with the on-screen controls. Uh, I think they're pretty good as well, but considering that this is a platformer type uh, game, I'd rather have the controller. Okay, checkpoint. He's doing a little dance. I'm liking this little checkpoint robot. He is feeling the groove. And I died. But I'm probably never going to die again just how, how good I am at games like this that I never play. Uh, whoops. 
Um, okay, you wanted me to run and jump? Well, you have to spell it out for me. I'm not going to figure these things out without these helpful hints. Uh, okay, so right trigger. Oh, oh okay. I got like a little appendage. And I can chuck my little boxy friend wherever I am pointing the directional pad. Got it. It's kind of cool. It just sort of hangs out on my back. So let's continue on. Oh, switch. Ah, I got it. But no, how do I get my box back? I need it. Oh, okay. Well, that works. Ah. All right, figuring things out. It is only the first level, so it'll take some time to sort of get, uh, get things under control here. Oh, okay, so the box to get through the door. Oh, oh, I dropped. Another checkpoint, and it's telling me that I can check the box. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Best that you weren't uh, next to that uh, bottomless pit. Oh. <laughs> I could I could lose my boxy friend, but he'll just come right back. But not the enemy. That would be wrong. <laughs> I like this little appendage. All right. You into the fire. Okay, yep. And because I have the box, I can get, open the door and into the next. Ah, okay, so you can. Stand on the box, and it'll protect you from stuff. And I can actually... Alright, I can grab it through the spikes. So I can't stand on the spikes, but I can shove my robotic arm through them. Yeah, I'm sure that makes all, all the sense. Eh. Whoops. Okay. I'll try that again. I want that whatever would be coin. What the? Hmm. <laughs> oh. and... Ah, aha. Got it. It's helping me get my box back. So there you are with a pit of fire at your back. I will chuck my boxy friend at you. Well, that's nice. Okay. Go into this thing. Um, I said I go into, and that's the end of the level. All right, got it. I like that the end is sort of like that Mario flagpole where, you know, the higher up you are, the more points I guess you get. Get to the next one. Oh, all right, I'm full a little here and we'll go on to the next level. Sounds cool. Okay, let's see how much trouble we can get into here as part of our training regiment. And I die again. And again. Yeah, well, might as well just jump over it all. Take a passive-aggressive approach to defeating enemies by not defeating enemies. There we go. And another checkpoint. Checkpoints are always good. Ooh. Some... Nope. Don't work like that. Alright, sure. <laughs> not gonna get all the diamonds this time, but that's fine. We can do without. Except that one. I want it. I wanted it. Lots of checkpoints. I'm sure nothing sinister will come up. Just jump on these guys over here. So now I gotta jump on the enemies to get through this, and I fail. Okay. Alright, well, this is turning out good. And right, well, let's let's speed things up a little bit here, because uh, I have a feeling that this is gonna take a bit. 
jump on that guy. Um, so you can jump on enemies to jump higher and get into platforms to get hidden goodies and whatnot, but if you miss, then you just go back to the checkpoint. How many times do I got to do this? time I guess. Things are going back normal speed so I guess I make it. Right, let's continue on. Got ourselves a, a light switch. All right that's good. It lights up monies. We like lit up monies. So we can collect them. Let's not mess around, let's just get to the end. And there we go. That package got delivered. Uh oh, time to build? I don't know if I'm ready. Sounds hard. Congratulations, employee. Thank you. Hereby grants you your safety goggles, which will allow you to enter and make use of the workshop. The workshop allows you to create a level for limited exercise for evaluating employee limitations. Awesome acronym. These levels created by you and your fellow employees are what we need to train GR18 for every possible delivery challenge. The levels you create are ejected from the Bureau of Shipping HQ, but don't worry about making too many. We're in space, and space, like our profit, is always expanding. Quite Once you true, build the level, true. head to the marketing department to advertise it to other level heads. If your level gets enough plays, it will graduate to the tower, a searchable database of all levels that have met our rigorous standards. Now get out there and do good for our goods. Your goods deliver real good. So at this point, it will the game will let you sort of try out the level building aspect that uh, this game has. And um, if you've ever played... I guess Mario Maker or any of those other type of level creation games that just sort of will give you the basic building blocks of what you do to build your own levels. So we'll quickly shoot through this. Um, gives you kind of a simple template to start things off. Uh, it goes through some of the basic. Uh, you can put blocks here and and uh, all sorts of other stuff. So we'll just uh, get started here. Uh, they do... Um, they, like, I mean, they always want to try and have you play through your level just to sort of see if things are going quite right. So that's sort of it. It's like you, your package, or boxy friend, and the end goal. So, hey, look, I built a stage. But not really. Um, so we'll try doing some stuff around to make it a little bit more interesting. built ourselves another platform. Yay, my level's coming alive. Eight blocks. Well, yes I can. Undid. Let's put some hazards in there. Let's put all the spikes. Okay, so now we have ourselves a little spiky platform. Yep, it works. <laughs> but again, no real challenge. Just sort of eat me my box, another platform with spikes, and my game, end goal. So let's put in an enemy. And yeah, you can sort of stack objects to make things bigger, meaner. So that's always cool. You can always sort of build upon stuff. But don't make things too tough or else you may not get through them all. Uh, and then, yeah, you can put in some monies. Yeah, defeat the enemy and get some monies. 
Oops. You don't have to defeat the enemy to make it to the finish line, but sometimes it helps. Copy and paste. Some copy and paste features, some multi select. So we'll take this platform and we'll, <gasps> we'll move it. And then we'll put it back. And even copy our selected bits. And then make ourselves another quick platform. Right there. There we go. Just there. Easy peasy. Okay, and you can use switches. A long floppy long switch. Okay, and it also teach you about uh, sending and receiving channels in order to activate certain objects when conditions are met. There you go. My level. Okay, and then it starts to give you tips about uh, creating checkpoints using these Bud E robots. We've always liked their groove, so yeah, let's stick one in and see what, see what happens. There. Our checkpoint. Last checkpoint. Yep, you can always. You can always press uh, the, L, the left bumper to reset yourself to the last checkpoint in case anything goes awry in the level, like getting killed by an enemy, uh, although that will just reset you immediately, like so. And try and actually... <laughs> Maybe I made a too strong of an opponent. Oh, there. Finally defeated him. Yeah, but I was just goofing around with the tools here. I wasn't really sure what to make. Um, I actually was playing with the building tools a little bit after I had uh, completed taping this episode, so maybe I'll make a little addendum and uh, showcase that off. I've never actually played the Mario Maker game, so it was sort of my own first level in this type of genre. Uh, I'm quite pleased with it, too. Okay, so still learning to build with the channels and options and all the other stuff that it gives. Uh, so you got this little receiving eye. you it will turn on the gem but having it above the spike seems a little bit silly since uh, that's quite unsafe so let's do something here let's make let's make the gems visible maybe so I'm 
still playing around here. So there's our switch. Okay, and we use our copy and paste tool so that we can just take one gem that is under that certain condition and just replicate it all over. So again, making things simple for creators to create. Also get rid of our tough enemy at the end here and make it a little bit more manageable. Yeah, maybe one of those guys. And one of those guys, okay. And then we'll just fill out, fill out our gem field give this a shot and get quickly taken out by an enemy. So yeah, as long as I'm within the certain field that the sensor detects me in, the gems will appear. Nice. Just some of the tricks that uh, the game sort of teaches you in the beginning here, um, but certainly gives uh, ideas to veteran level builders on what they can do in order to sort of flesh out their level uh, more than just what this tutorial will give you. So make ourselves yet another platform using a different tile block. Always nice. Not really sure what I want to do with this platform yet, but at least I have it. Edges here and I think you can actually go through them as opposed to the actual like platform blocks and I remember seeing that in the levels as well just before the previous levels you were able to sort of go down using those ledges okay, and then it gives you some background stuff flesh out your level that way with some uh, some added bits. So we'll make this sort of like a little cavernous area with our package and buddy friend. Do do do, do fleshing out our level. I'm such an artiste. Paint bucket. Okay, sure. And what will that do? Oh, well, I guess it will explode a bunch of uh, background tiles or whatever you have sort of selected. Looks good to me. Uh, it also tells you that you can use the cheese play button to sort of start yourself off on different parts of the level in case you need to try out certain areas. Uh, quite handy. And then lastly, get into the level details. You can name your level or give it a graphic. Choose a name. I don't actually, it doesn't look like you can actually type out a name yourself. Uh, and let me know if I'm wrong. But yeah, it just looks like you can create a level name by using these sort of prearranged templates. 
using nouns and adverbs and miscellaneous and explanations. So let's just sort of pick whatever. Channel ritual that bomb. Yep, perfect. Uh, pick your zone, pick your music. See whether you want weather effects on or off. Okay, and one final run. I think uh, you have to sort of succeed in your level in order to actually publish it for real Z's. There you go. I have completed channel, channel ritual that bomb. So I am given the option to ship it. Uh, once I make some tags, of course. So make your level sort of what you want it to be for your selected audience, whether you want to make it easy peasy and short or um, very hard, as I'm sure many will be. And then, yay, my level is complete. Off, off into the ether, the boring level that it is. So once that's all complete, you get to go into the marketplace like it described before. And you can attempt to, I guess, market your video, your level, market your video. That's another thing I'm trying to do here, but we'll stick with the level making game first. Uh, so it teaches you all the sort of stuff that's sort of here. There's my level. And then if you're coming into this game to create yourself a bunch of levels to have other players play it, then you can use the marketing uh, tools here in order to expand your audience find the right kind of people to uh, get your levels and play them. And now we hit the tower. Uh, and I think this is sort of like it will just sort of put a bunch of random levels together um, from sort of like easy and then sort of increasing in difficulty. Uh, or it looks like you can filter out some levels. But we'll see if uh, give it and we'll hit the tower trial button here and see what happens. I'm sure it will be all good. So yeah, just ten random levels, and we'll just shoot you through them one by one. Oh, surprises. Item blocks and power up. Oh. Interesting. What do I need to do here? Another box. Two boxy friends. Exit out of the doorway either, so I guess I do see a switch up on the left hand side there. Oh, oh. I've yet not experienced this power up, so I may be a little bit confused as to what is going on here. But I am able to get through one of the barriers using the package. Oh, the door's open. But I'm sort of leaving my package behind. Is that what I want? At least I got a save point, so... Okay. Clouds. Oh, and they disappear! Okay. Another... Hey. Wait a minute. Okay. Um... <laughs> This isn't going to work. Right, I realize I may have done something a little bit silly, so let's go back. Let's get our 
package. And let's try and rectify. Okay, so I think I think this nondescript package box will have to go in the place of where it's sitting on top of the switch. So we'll get ourselves the wolf save point and test it out by dying. That's always fun. Like I said, it's always fun. And unfortunately, I spend a little bit too much time farting around in this starting section, so we'll speed it up a little bit one more time here. Uh, just don't, so you don't have to um, see the agony ad that I had to go through for the next 10 minutes or so. So uh, we'll get back to the end of this level once I get through this seemingly simple yet complex puzzle. Oh, finally! Get that one box into that corner. And then I can go back to where I was before. Oh, buddy. Now I can probably get through this door. Don't die first. Yay! Okay, might I actually make it to the end of the level. Except for the fact that I can't get through that section. What's going on? Oh, switch. Got it. Got it. Back to the clouds. Oh, there's the end goal. Seems simple now. There. We finally finished off this player created level, um, which you'll get is some sort of randomizer for doing the tower. Uh, seems simple enough. Just at random. Um, cool. And you have options at the ends. You can favorite it, you can save it to play again later, and you can follow the creator for any other levels that they may create in the future. There's me, zero followers. Uh, so I definitely picked the right icon for my reaction to that. Uh, but you can get your most followed creators and let's jump out and we'll actually do a couple more of the butterscotch created levels for level head and we'll call it wraps after that. My Roxy friend is being bouncy. Now I'm being bouncy! Got some more clouds here, so at least we know what's up with them. Come on, let's go. Get some... Oh, 
don't know if there are power-ups or some some collectibles. Anybody? You just have to jump over the fire, right? Yep. Ooh, springy. Springy goodness. End of level. And I missed it, but at least it's not too hard to get back. There we go. Dense Fog Ridge. Is that what you're calling the little puffy white clouds? Cool. One more. One more for good measure. Oh, it wants me to pick up the spring. I can pick up springs? That sounds delightful. There we go. the spikes. So let's go over. So it's asking me that I need to reach my package. Oh, okay. I think I get it. That's why I can carry the spring. Let me get the spring closer. We can get the spring closer. There we go. There, we got our boxy friend. Get more diamonds. And we can hit some spikes. You know, all the good stuff that the level head game has to offer. Why am I having it so difficult to get down below one level here? There we go. Okay, so it's going to teach you if you cannot reach the platform, you can use the package to reach it. But obviously you can't leave your package left behind. So you can jump and then grab the package while in midair. Interesting mechanic. Sure, I can pull it off. Aha! Got it. Cool. Yep. Got it. Got the package. I'm actually use the package to get some diamonds. Have to put myself at risk. Good to know. Reach a spring. So spring can go there. Ow. Get my boxy friend back. Can't get to that buddy. What do I do? It. Ah, that'll work. Ooh, a little fan area. I'm a fan of a fan. Oh, my goodness. Who are you? Well, <laughs> enough of that. I'm ending the level. You could say that it's your goods delivered real good. That's a sexy slogan. So yeah, Level Head looks to be a very good platformer and level creator. And paired with the unique style that Butterscotch Nankins brings can only be a recipe for greatness. Or disaster. Can't tell. One or the other. But I'm sure he'll be a fun ride either way. If you enjoyed this video quick play of Level Head, then derp that like button right away to my doorstep. Leave me a comment and let me know 
if you're a level creator or a level player and subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness because you'll never know what I may be picking up next. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you guys again in the next one. Thanks for watching.